So you're on the tube, underground, you've got your phone, you might fall into one of two categories. One is the person that likes the peace and quiet, no one can disturb you, maybe work can't call you. Or, more likely, you're the other person that's frustrated because you can't check Facebook or Twitter or Insta as you go through the tunnels deep underground. Until now, we're at Canada Water and 4G is coming to the underground tunnels, not the platforms, but as the train travels along in the tunnels. So I'm on a Jubilee Line train. This is a gentleman called Ben. Ben, which, which division of TFL do you work for? Tech and Data. Tech and Data. You've got your text phone down here. Yeah. But we've, I've given you Vicky's number. Yeah. We're going to call Vicky. Yeah. Whilst on a moving tube train underground. Yeah. And she should pick up. Yeah. Let's hit dial. There you go. So I appreciate that was really noisy and you couldn't hear Vicky, but she answered the phone and for me I was like wow Well, I'm underground and she picks up the phone now the tube is quite noisy in sound places So actually I don't think people will be making that many phone calls But surely a thing you can do is you can browse Twitter and Facebook and in these websites and also can you watch streaming video? Can you watch YouTube? So Ben what I'd like to do as a test if we go out, if we get out to, uh, we're on our way now to Canning Town. Canning Town, yeah. is that above ground? That's yes, above ground. So we'll have to go back. So could we start so we could like stream a YouTube video? Yeah. And then as we go into the tunnel, it won't cut out. It will just keep on playing. So Ben, you've got up yes. my YouTube channel. Yeah, have a need. You've got my human tube map video on your phone, yeah. and we're going to go into the tunnel. And it will just carry on? The idea is it will carry on. Uninterrupted. The one problem we have is that we don't have enough pink. It's just carrying on. It's streaming perfectly. Yeah. So you can watch. So you can watch YouTube. You can do FaceTime. Yeah. You can do like Google Hangouts and WhatsApp video chats. Anything you can do with your mobile, you can do on the tube. Do we all remember the Dom Jolly uh, sketch show, uh, Trigger Happy TV? Hello? Hello? No, yeah, just now I'm in the sun. Yeah, just chilling out. You can now be that annoying person on the tube going, hello? I've got, are you FaceTiming someone? Yeah, he wants to screen something. Oh, hello, Paul. How you doing? <laughs> We've just jumped out at, uh, at Canary Wharf. I've got no, I've got Wi-Fi, but I've definitely got no service. I've got no cell, cell service on my phone. I'm just gonna, just to be absolutely sure, I'm gonna turn off my Wi-Fi. There we go, I've got nothing. I've got no service, nothing on my phone. If you do the same, then you've you got a full- yeah, I've got full 4G. A full 4G signal. Yeah, I can do a quick speed test for you. Oh, let's do a speed test. We're getting- Obviously an unloaded system, we're getting about 230 megabits per second. It feels really weird when you're just used to like being underground and you have no signal and suddenly your phone is going, well Ben's test phone is like, yep, yeah, it works, it rings, it's working. Uh, make calls, receive calls, send texts, but it's, it's data so you can do full on streaming, video streaming, anything you can do on a regular 4G signal above ground on your phone, you can now do here in the tunnels on the Jubilee line. Okay, so we've come off a noisy train to be replaced by a noisy escalator. I can see it being more useful for people wanting to check like football scores or send email, because having an actual video call or conversation is probably quite hard on a noisy tube train. But it's full on data, yep. underground on a tube train. I understand it, it works due to a system known as Leaky Feeder. Yep. What does that, could you tell YouTube what Leaky Feeder is? Because I love the expression, Leaky Feeder. Yeah, so <laughs> the good analogy is a hose pipe uh, with lots of holes in it, um, running all the way around your garden. So it's letting out the radio signal um, throughout the length of the Leaky Feeder. Um, so we have high power radios at each end of the tunnel. Yep. That's broadcasting the signal through the Leaky Feeder and distributing it across the tunnel. So a cable is running the length of the, of the tunnel, sort of pump, pumping the signal out. We've got two very thick cables. How, how thick? How big are the cables? Uh, around that thick. <laughs> okay. About four inches. Wow. Um, and 
they have slats in them uh, every so often, around every 10 centimetres, I think. Okay. Um, and in each port of each tunnel, we've got the two cables, and they're providing service for all four operators. But how, and will it even work if you start your sort of phone call outside and you go underground, it just switches, like above ground it would switch cell, Correct. it knows how to switch from a cell to the leaky feeder cable in the tunnel. Exactly. That's very clever. Uh, mobile networks have configured their system so that it'll switch from macro layer, from outdoor coverage, okay. through to our, our service, which is underground. Okay. Uh, and the leaky feeder will just pick up that signal as soon as you enter the tunnel. So just to check, so it's on all four networks, all the four, the four big boys, Correct. and all their sort of subordinates. Correct, yeah. <laughs> uh, only between, what, Westminster and Canning Town at the moment. That's right. But ultimately it could be rolled out to the entire underground. Yeah. So the whole of the tube should ultimately be on 4G. Eventually, yes. You're probably thinking, hang on, Jeff, you told me it was just tunnels. It's in stations as well, and tunnels, but it's just easier and less noisier to show this to you in the station. So where's the, where's the bit of kit? That's one of our radio units. Within each of those boxes is four individual radios supporting different frequencies. The idea is that we have something called MIMO, multiple in, multiple out. So every radio is duplicated, and that's how you get the fast performance, which mobile operators expect. Just to confirm again, I'm getting no service, and over here, you're getting 4G plus files on your yep. phone. That's amazing. So we've got another app here, which shows we're on Vodafone, LTE Plus, which is carrier aggregation. We're on frequency 2630, which is uh, Vodafone's LTE 2600 frequency. This is obviously being recorded in advance, got a little bit of a sneak preview when it was still being tested, but the day this video, the moment this video is released live, that is it, it's out there to the public. So we're pulling out a Burmese, Ben's still on his phone. Okay, he's just checking Facebook now. Uh, which is, oh no, he's testing, he's testing, he's testing, he's definitely running a test. Facebook. Uh, the question you want to know is when is it coming to the rest of the underground? As I say, it's a pilot, as a test, here on this part of the Jubilee. If all is successful and the time frame holds up, it'll be uh, rolled out to the entire underground, all underground tunnels and platforms by the end of 2023. 4G, on your mobile, underground.